Hey, hey, Dawn. I just wanted to do part two of um, the journaling journey we're on. Some of you were great and said that you wanted to come on this journey with me, so I thought I'd do part two. It's um, the 31st of August here in Australia, so I thought what better day to do it and do another video because tomorrow you can start a new journal or if you haven't started one. So I'm starting one today. Um, so the journey, let's talk about it. Um, look at that shadow. I'm in my room. Mr. T got up, he couldn't sleep. Oh, there you go. Anyway, so um, part two is why and what. Why to journal and what. Um, there's a lot of reasons to journal, um, memory keeping, mental health, uh, physical health. There's a lot of reasons. You have to determine that for yourself. Um, sometimes when we have a good reason, it's a bit easier, but also um, we don't necessarily have to reason. We can just say, I'm going to try this and give yourself a time limit, maybe a month. I'm going to journal every day for a month and see how I go. So that's the why. So you've got to, um, I can't tell you why to do it. You've got to come up with that yourself. Now the what. If you're memory keeping, that's great. That gives you, um, you can just have a little post-it notes in your bag and write a few things down and then come back and read it. And even if you're not memory keeping, that's a good way to um to remember what you want to talk about later um if you're doing it for mental health i would suggest stream of conscious and people go oh what's that it's sitting down you put the date you can put the date if you want or just day one whatever you want to do and then whatever's in your head you write so if it, if you've got in your head I don't know what to write. Grace told me to write what's in my head. Write it and just, and it'll come. It'll come. Just keep writing whatever you think and let it flow. Now, I've had people go, but when I go back, I sound like a crazy person. Don't go back and read it if you're worried about sounding like a crazy person until you're a bit stronger. Um, but that is a good way to start journaling prompts there are masses and masses and masses of journaling prompts out there if you want journaling prompts for mental health anxiety um memory keeping whatever you want journaling prompts for they're out there go look them up google them go on pinterest there's heaps um journaling prompts are a good way if you want to start i think i've got some back here I've been redoing mine. No, I don't. Here's, I found this on somewhere. So it helps organise your thoughts and organise thoughts and think clearly. That's another thing. Somebody was saying that they have um, trouble sleeping. If you journal before you're sleeping, just word vomit everything. Don't... Um, organize it just get it out if there's to-do lists just put a tag in your journal so you can go back tomorrow something that you'll take notice of it does help you think clearly know yourself better and develop your own voice yes um, those that are not good at speaking up it helps you to speak up remember important events express your creative now that's another thing I want to talk about People go, but I'm not a writer. Well, are you a drawer? Draw. I think I spoke about that in the last video. You can share your... Oh, I don't share mine. Well, I do because I do talk about journaling, but that's a cute little thing. I don't know where I found that. Anyway, that's good at reasons. But you can make a list of your own reasons in your journal why you do it. Um... As I said to you last time, journaling is your thing. It's your journal, your book, 
you do it your way. If you want to write something and then draw something, do it. If you want a memory keep and you got tickets, do that and write a bit about it. Um, you got to do you. And once you've done you, you will be more happier for it. Now, in September, I'm thinking it's in the States, it's National... Is it National Journal? I just saw it. My brain's gone. Anyway, <clears throat> it's very important you do it for self-care. Um, the other journaling I don't know that I mentioned is gratitude. Right, just write something that you're grateful for at the beginning. So that's another good way to do it. Anyway, I hope this helps. If you have any questions down there, um, there's so many things that you can do um, journaling-wise. Don't limit yourself. Don't think, I have to do it this way. Remember, no rules. Challenge yourself to a certain length of time because for a habit to succeed, it has to be for a certain length of time. Um, give yourself a time during the day to sit and just write or draw or whatever it is you can do. But make sure that you give it a go. It is very, very helpful to your life. I, Like I said, I started because of depression and I'm so much further along than if I hadn't journaled. Um, I've had people that have journaled through grief and... Um, self-harm and all sorts of things I've spoken to them about and it does help so just write things down even spiritual stuff you know um, I have a friend she wrote down verses that really spoke to her and um, that's another way you can do it but there is no limit if you need any prompts or anything let me know um, don't forget to go into Graceful Graceful Grace's World on Facebook and talk to me or talk to me down there. I do answer questions. So I will talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't normally say this, but I'd really love it if you subscribed. If you can't, if you won't subscribe, at least give me a thumbs up. But um, I really hope that you subscribe and join our family. Okay. Don't forget to be who created to be. Bye.